We first caught up with Katie Armager about four years ago on her first trip to Nashville. She seemed to be somewhat of a shy teenager, ready to get her braces off. She wowed us with her voice, so it's great to see her come into her own as an incredible artist. She just released her third album, and Kelly Lynn caught up with Katie for a very special evening. Don't know what you've done, but you don't know what you did, and now you're telling me that you're not to blame. We are here today getting ready for a CD release party with Miss Katie Arminger. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you again. You too. What a busy girl and a great album. Thank you so much. You got a chance to listen to it. I did. Yeah. And I love, I mean, Confessions of a Nice Girl. I mean, what a title. Thank you. Well, I actually had my fans help me pick it. So they um, got to pick from three choices on GAC. And I, I love that they picked Confessions of a Nice Girl. It's a great fitting title. And I heard you singing. Uh, the song earlier I'm a nice girl and I mean you know that goes along so good with high schools and the things that teenagers deal with and you really are speaking to them in this album definitely and I, I agree I mean the concept of you know being a nice girl I feel like there are so many out there who you know they try to be positive you know happy laughing all the time and you know they really do have serious thoughts and sometimes sad they're sad or they're angry or this and maybe you can't say that but you can get it out in songs and nice girls girl just embodies that really well. You're on the cover of Justin Magazine. I am, I know, for this next month, October. I'm so excited. And the cover's like actually right behind us. I love that. It's a great picture. <laughs> Where did you do the photo shoot? Thanks. I did it here in Nashville. So Stephen Shepard um, shot the photos and we just went down like Nolensville Road and just shot them. It was great. And the photos on your album, and there are some great, great photos. The one that I especially have to talk about is in the laundry. Uh, you're like in a laundromat. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's the cover of the album. It was it was so much fun. You know, Stephen was like, the concept is we're gonna have you in this ball gown, princess dress, and it's gonna be like you're washing them and doing your laundry. And um, it was just such a cool, quirky concept, and I love it. Let me show you Put the locket that she gave me in a shoebox. Your current single right now, Leaving Home, is really, really good. And, and a lot of high schools around the country are playing that as their like graduation theme. They are. I, I actually wrote it for my parents because this past year I moved fully to Nashville. And you know, when I wrote it, I never really thought, oh, other people can relate to this because because I'm the only one that leaves home. <laughs> But, you know, we put it on YouTube and all of these, you know, people started responding and they're like, we're using this as, you know, our graduation song and I'm leaving home this year. And so we sent it out to high schools all across America and so many chose it. It was such an honor. Talk about some of the other writers that you write with a lot or that are on this album with you. Sure, well, um, like you're saying, um, you know, Sarah Buxton, Blair Daly, Joe West, Amanda Flynn, Bruce Wallace, Rebecca Lynn Howard, they're just amazing writers on this album, and I'm lucky to call them friends. Did I do? just got to Nashville last year and and then started working right away is that your story <laughs> well I've been you know I, I originally am from Texas I've been coming back and forth since I was 14 and this past February actually I, I moved here fully and you know so it was one of those it was a step that I knew that I, I needed to take but I've been going back and forth for so long that it was really natural for me so it wasn't crazy hard to do but, and you were able to write a lot, and I guess living here now, that really makes it easier as well. <laughs> it definitely makes it easier. It's not like, hey, can we write next week after my flight? It's like, hey, can we write tomorrow morning? Yeah. And then you're right here. So because I'm right here, yeah. Well, I'm so excited about your party today. The album is out, and everybody go out and make sure you get the Katie Arminger, Confessions of a Nice Girl. What did I do? This 
week marks the beginning of a new feature on Inside Music Row. NSAI, or the Nashville Songwriters Association International, has members around the world in every genre, all of whom are interested in writing amazing music. Well, starting today, we'll sit down with a professional songwriter in each show to get a little bit of advice for new or established songwriters. Today, we check in with James Dean Hicks, who talks about what kinds of things you should write about. Write about what you know about. If uh, you're going to write a song about working on a farm and you grew up in the city and you've never visited the farm or know anything about it, the person that hears that song that you wrote is going to go, that's an imposter. So make sure you know exactly what you're writing about and uh, because you want people to believe and be engaged in everything that you do and uh, write about what you know about. Check out NashvilleSongwriter.com for more information on NSAI. Well, that is about all the time we have for today's show. We still have those Katie Armager discs up for grabs. So if you want to enter this week's drawing, you have to email me your mailing address. That's Bailey at InsideMusicRogue.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, too, for all the latest news and events. We're going to leave you this week with the latest from Katie, Leaving Home. Don't miss out next week when we catch up with the legendary Loretta Lynn. Until then, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon. In only four months I'll be coming home for Christmas I bet that all the time I fly you know how it does Maybe I'll go and find a nice guy and fall in love I'll do my best to make you proud Keep my room safe now Just in case these big old dreams don't work out